welcome back to my channel this is african bella the real talk if you're new you're also welcome to this channel we always make videos about relationships and life experiences in general i got a question from one subscriber she wanted me to do a video on how i met my beloved husband and for those of you who are wondering how I got to Italy, today is the day I am going to tell you how I met my husband, how I got to Italy. So let us start. So friends, it reached at a point I was done with relationships. I was done with dating. I said to myself, maybe relationship isn't for me. So I said, if God brings the right man, then that's okay. But for me, concentration on relationships, done, done, done. So there is this good friend of mine that I used to chat with. She lives in Italy. And she knew all my problems in relationship, my failures. So she knew everything. You know, girls, we share. <laughs> if you have a friend that you trust, you share. So one day I got a message from this friend of mine and she told me there is the man that she knows and this man wants a black woman, a woman from Africa. So she told me maybe I should connect you to this man. You start chatting and maybe you can be friends if you don't like him as a, a boyfriend. You can be only friends. I said, okay. So he connected, she connected us, we started chatting every day, knowing each other slowly by slowly. But before meeting me or before starting chatting with me, he had a plan to come to Tanzania to climb my Mount Kilimanjaro. So after three months of chatting, my husband came to Tanzania, but he came to climb Mount Kilimanjaro and also meet me. So his flight went straight to Kilimanjaro and I was living in Dar es Salaam. So I arranged my trip after him arriving. He arrived like today then the next day I arranged my trip to Kilimanjaro. I took a bus and I was very curious to know this man. I was nervous. So I arrived, I informed him that I have arrived. I booked another hotel. I did not go to stay in his hotel because he was the new person to me, a stranger. So I stayed in another, another hotel and I told him I had arrived and we arranged on how to meet. He told me he will come at my hotel at 8.30 in the evening. So I started preparing myself, you know, girls putting on makeup, choosing the dress to put on the first date. <laughs> So, I even forgot myself, it went almost to nine. Then I went downstairs at the reception. I sat there and started waiting. But you know the funny thing? He had arrived long time. At 8.30, he arrived and went to, to the restaurant. So I waited there, looking here and there. I could not see him. I said, maybe he was a scammer. Maybe my friend lied to me. I was, I started to regret why I spent my time coming to meet this man. Then, after so long, then I saw this gentleman going downstairs, tall. He went straight to the receptionist and asked if they have a client by my name. Then I was like, I'm here. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> then he turned then we hugged. It was the very beautiful moment of my life. I was so happy. So we went upstairs in the restaurant. We sat there, ordered dinner. We ate, we talked, talked till two at night. Then he decided to go back to his hotel and I went back to the room. And he told me he will come the next day at 8.15 for breakfast. So that is the first time that I met my beloved husband. So he came the next day, the time he said he really respected time. He came, we went for breakfast, we talked, 
we walked around the whole day we spent together then it was time for him to go because the next day he was going to climb the mountain so we had to say goodbyes i was very very sad and he was sad too because we connected there was chemistry so we said goodbye and he said we'll continue chatting don't worry so that's it and he went then when he returned to the mountain he sent me a message and said i arrived i reached the uhuru peak and i was happy i congratulated him then we continued chatting then it was time for me to go to italy one day he told me are you ready to come and see my life how i live here i could not believe it <laughs> but of course i said yes i am ready so he invited me i started the visa process it was a horror one because i was denied visa in the first time then i had to apply again then i got my visa i came to italy and i found him at the airport <laughs> with two crowns one for him and one for me because he used to call me my queen and i call him my king so i found him with that crown with those crowns holding them i laughed a lot i was happy new environment and it was the very best time so we went to where he lived he took me to where he lived but in the car i was a bit worried because it is the new environment yes i met this man but for only one day now i am going to stay with this man because my visa was for one month that i don't know i was a bit scared but i took the risk because my intuition told me that he is the good man he is the right man so we arrived he prepared for me lunch because it was lunch time i ate and i was really shocked that i found every woman essentials ready for me waiting for me <laughs> i was very happy i felt i felt peace in myself i felt that i have found the man that i really wanted so this one month period passed so fast because we had a lot of activities together it was just like one week <laughs> we went to alps to see snow where i come from snow isn't normal so it was a new thing for me i went to the museum he took me to his sister she introduced me to his sister and i was welcomed very well he also took me to where he sings because he has this hobby of singing so sometimes he sings you will see one clip there <laughs> when i was dancing so i met these friends of his they treated me well they we interacted very well i was so happy and my flight to go back home was 15th of february so a day before was valentine's we spent some quality times together and we went to the movie we watched the movie after the movie we went for a walk we took ice cream then we sat down started talking he told me how he was worried that if i go back he's scared i might meet another man that will promise me the world then i forget about him but i told him don't worry i took this huge risk from africa to europe to meet you a man that i was connected by a friend a man that i met only one day this means a lot this means that i'm serious and i love you he was happy so we went back home we cut the cake we enjoyed valentines and we slept so at around two at night my flight was six in the morning at around two i woke up reality hit me i started crying and re i started recalling all my past relationships how i suffered a lot then 
I thought maybe if I go back then this man will forget about me everything will be like a dream maybe I was dreaming and he woke up and told me no don't cry because you make me sad I am sad too you're going I want you to stay but I had to go back because I was still working at that moment and my visa was only one month so he assured me that he wants to start a family with me he loves me and we connect a lot we have chemistry so we enjoy each other's company so I went back home very sad I remember I cried again at the airport much so I went back home continued with my life we continued chatting much every day and skyping every weekend after three months again that is when we decided to get married and start family we have one baby girl she's one year and a half i'll put her photo here so that you can meet her too that is how i met my husband that is my love story <laughs> thank you for watching my video i really hope you enjoyed our love story and <laughs> please if you have any other questions you can ask don't hesitate at all I am here for you that is why I decided to make this channel to help you around yes I don't know all but I am ready to share the experience I have I am ready to help you in relationship based so don't hesitate at all please share like this video subscribe if you have not subscribed also don't forget to comment what do you think until next time ciao